Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Mike from the hit show Stranger Things. Obviously the show from Netflix. And this figure is done by McFarlane Toys. I think this is first McFarlane Toys on my channel. So as you can see he's on the classic card back. Obviously 80s inspired. It's pretty cool. The artwork for Stranger Things which I think it's the same artist who did all the original artwork for like E.T. and stuff like that. I forgot his name. Oh, I'm sure it's him who did the same artwork, but you can see we've got a nice card back. We've got the figure inside, the Finn Wolfhard's mic. Got some accessories. And then on the back, we've got the rest of the first part of the way. So we've got Eleven, we've got Will, we've got Mike, and then we've got Upside Down Will. And then there's a little int up top here of the Demogorgon, and also, I forgot these two's names. But you also got Hopper in this wave, and another Eleven, if I remember correctly. Well, part of this wave. So, I want to try and keep this open. A little bit of plastic on the side, I might be able to slit it, I don't know. But we're going to take a look at Mike, we've got another Stranger Things figure. And then I've also got a couple more on the way. Obviously Season 3 has just come out and it's as popular as ever. Uh, I've still not watched Season 3 yet. I am uh, halfway through Season 2. I started to fall off it a little bit. For reasons, but... I might jump back on it, but these figures look awesome. I wanted to pick them up originally because I his look, and I think they'll fit in great, like with Freddy Krueger's and Jason's and Pennywise from NECA. So that's why I wanted to pick up a couple of these. So I'm going to try and get him cracked open, see if I can split it and have a look. So I'm just going to, there's a bit of tape here. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Not bothered about back at card back. Done this with a few uh, diamond select figures and it worked, but will it work here? I don't know. Right, so that's ready to come off. Ah, that's just stuck on though, that. Ah, have to pry it. Right, we'll pry it bottom. Right, let's see. If we can get in, mm. oh, we might be able to slide him out. Oh, and he's out. Here we go. So we've still got the card back, and I can also slip him back in. It looks like he's never been open. Pretty cool. There you go, just a bit of damage there, but that'll look awesome hanging up wall if I want to hang him back up. So, yeah, Stranger Things, it, the first series were great, obviously it was something new and it, it's got that 80s nostalgia to it, which is great. But then uh, season two seemed to rely too much on that, and obviously there's been a lot of copycats that show and trying to get that 80s revival thing going on. and. It relies too much on 80s and nostalgia instead of having like the story set in the 80s. So like, there's a pretty good film called The uh, Summer of 84, I think it is, or Summer of 86, something like that. And that's set in 80s, and it's got a group of kids and stuff like that set in 80s, and they're looking, kids are going missing in the neighborhood, and it's a bit of a horror, like a thriller. But it doesn't rely too much on it, so they're not all making 80s references all the time. Whereas I felt like in season two of Stranger Things, they were doing it all the time and I started to get a bit bored. But I've heard mixed things about season three. I've heard it's still the same or I've heard a couple of people say it's better. So I probably will get around to watching it obviously on Netflix. Starting off first, we'll go through his accessories and we've got this little hand. It's a right hand and it's got a little notch, so I'm assuming that's to hold the walkie-talkie. Then we have the flashlight if you're in America, or a torch from UK or Europe. Classic look, like a mag light. Very cool. Then we have the backpack. Very short arms though, so I don't know if this is going to fit over him, but one does come attached. 
for you to place it. But it looks pretty cool. That'll fit in well with like Spider-Man and that, I should think. But yeah, it's got that classic ages look. And then finally, now kids, I don't know if you know this, but this is a walkie-talkie. Now, back, back before everyone had phones, if you wanted to play with your friends and keep in contact with them at a short distance, this is what you had to use. It's called a walkie-talkie. So, we'll go through articulation nice and quick. So, the head is on a ball joint, and it does rock back and forth and swivel a bit. You don't get too much movement, but it does. Uh, we've got no waist movement or an ab crunch or anything like that. The arms oh, rotate all the way around, but are stiff, and they do come out. That's about as much. Single jointed elbow, where it is on a swivel as well. And then the wrist is just on a swivel and it's got a bit of a little bit of a movement to it, not much. Oh, so no waist. Uh, the legs kick up quite a lot. And back, you can practically get splits going on. What about an outward split? Yep, so a bit like diamond select figures. Uh, single jointed knee, so that's about as much. It does go up by quite a lot. And then the ankle. Oh, that is a swivel as well. And then the ankle has got a little bit of movement, like a rocker. Uh, it's got hardly no swivel. Yeah, it is a ball joint, but the jeans stop it, I think. So not too bad. Really good likeness to film Wolf Ad. Got another bit of fluff. You got know, like classic 80s air. Looks like a young Kylo Ren and a young Adam Driver. The hair is like a solid plastic, it's really hard. I could probably pop that off though. He's got a bit of rosiness to his cheeks. The eyes look very plain. Moving down, jacket wise, something your granddad would wear, but it is one of them classic 80s jackets. Uh, it is. A soft vinyl, you can manoeuvre it out, and it has got a red tone wrap going round it. You can just see the air sticking out. It's got golden buttons and a gold zip. Got pockets on the side. Pretty good looking jacket, to be honest, I like it. Moving round back. Just used to have a pan. Feels a lot different as well to his jeans, which is good. Moving down, we've got a belt buckle. Solid black belt. Oh, his t shirt underneath, we've got a nice polo. Done up to the top. With some blue and red, uh, blue and yellow stripes with a bit of black as well. Moving down to his jeans, his jeans are black, but they have got like this blue wash over them. Look pretty good. I really like them. Got a nice tint to them, like a stone wash tint. It's like a blue if you can just make it out on camera. Yeah. Really nice look at jeans. I really like them. And then coming down to the Deodora trainers. <whistles> look like Borgalis, but blue. Very classic 80s trainer, tennis trainer, also running shoes, awesome. I'm glad they didn't just make some fake patterns, they actually look like Deodoras, which is cool. Yeah, I really like the trainers. Yeah, I like them. pretty good design, I like the figure. It is a nice figure. Also comes with a stand, with a Stranger logo printed on. But we'll have a look at his accessories now and see what we can fit on. Backpack does actually fit on quite well. Mine's going to need stretching out a little bit though, probably eating up and stretching out if you look. It doesn't go all the way around. But if you just keep your arms like that, you can't tell at all. But if I just eat it open, you should be able to stretch it out. It probably will reach if it wants to. So guys, what are your thoughts on this figure? I'm going to go put him in diorama now, probably with Pennywise. See what shots I can get with him. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you a big fan of Stranger Things? Did you like Series 3 and should I carry on watching it? And do you like this figure? Have you got it yourself? Or are you going to be picking it up? Like I said, I got him for about £10. And I think it'll be great to go along with my NECA characters. But let me know down below. Check out my Instagram for loads of shots. And my Twitter, there will be links for that. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Also, don't forget, subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>